Hi guys, welcome to Receptus Passinia Corpuscope. So, in terms of the specification, you need to know uh, that the Passinia Corpuscope could be used as an example of a receptor to illustrate that receptors respond only to specific stimuli. So that's really important because uh, here we will be looking at the mechanical pressure. So mechanical pressure is the stimuli which will uh, obviously be involved in terms of the responses used, uh, responses involved the passenger corpuscle and stimulation of a receptor leads to establishment of generator potential or other words action potential. So we need to know the basic structure of the passenger corpuscle and here that's where the key words are coming from. Deformation, that's really important. Stretch mediated sodium ion channels. So look, ion channels, you, that's the common thing that students are forgetting about. And uh, generate the pot potential or action potential. Okay, both are correct. So in this video, we will be looking at the passenger corpuscle. In our next video, we will be looking at the rod and cone cell in the uh, eye. So uh, before we start, we just need to recap and remind you that the central nervous system receives sensory information from internal and external environment through many different uh, receptors. And the function of the receptors is obviously sensory reception. So the sensory perception involves making a sense of the information from the receptor and a likely function of brain. So in terms of the passenger corpuscle, as we've mentioned when we were looking at the specification, it's specific because it will respond to changes in a mechanical pressure. So passing on corpuscle is a transducer. So it transduces the mechanical energy of the stimulus into a generator potential or other words, if you like, action potential. So what is then a transducer? So the job of the transducer is to convert, for example, light energy to electrical energy. So that's another example of the transducer. But here uh, will, uh, it's a transducer in terms of the passing and corpuscle because uh, transduces the mechanical energy of the stimulus into a generator potential. So changing one into the other. So as we've mentioned, it's specific to a single type of the stimulus. So only to the mechanical pressure and produces the generator potential uh, by acting as this transducer. Okay, so I will remove maybe this so you don't get confused. Why do we talk about the light energy was just the example. Okay, so produces a action potential because it acts as transducer. So converts this mechanical energy into the uh, generator potential into the action potential. Okay, so where can we find the passing and corpuscle? Okay, this is the passing corpuscle, so it's found deep in the skin. Okay, and enable organisms to know which joints are changing direction. Okay, for example, here because it's also found in the ligaments and tendons. So structure okay if we're looking here at the structure there is lots of blood capillaries around okay we've got the capsule we've got layers of the connective tissue uh, with the gel in between this is where the neuron will end and this is obviously still the part of the neuron but that's the ending and here we've got the uh, schwann cells so it's a single sensory neuron at the center of the layers of tissues which uh, are separated by gel. Okay, so single correct in the center. So ending at uh, the center of the passing your corpuscle has a sodium channels. What's missing here? What did I say? Ions. So sodium ion channel. Remember to include that here. In its plasma membrane and we call it a stretch mediated sodium ion channel okay 
and uh, the permeability of obviously of this neuron membrane here can change when it's deformed okay so uh, we will be looking at the passenger corpuscle here at the neuron at the passenger corpuscle at the resting potential and at the action potential so we will see what ions uh, will be coming inside or which ones won't be allowed so um this is how it looks like okay so at the uh, at the resting potential okay outside of the uh, of the neuron the charges will be positive okay those are due to many sodium ions outside but uh, inside the membrane will be uh, negative and this is due to potassium ions okay but what will happen when the pressure okay it's applied so when the pressure is applied remember uh, passing in corpuscle acts as a transducer and will lead to action potential to the generation potential at this moment of time when the pressure is applied the uh, stretch mediated membrane is going to be deformed this deformation will cause the influx of sodium ions inside so inside your membrane it's going to be now more positive because of the more sodium ions being in okay and more negative outside so okay one more time okay what happens so uh, permeability to the sodium ions when the uh, generate uh, when the pressure is applied it's going to increase so more sodium ions will come in causing okay the influx of the sodium ions so the stretch mediated sodium ion channels ion here as well will open and will get more sodium ions uh, causing the action potential or generator potential this uh, okay uh, just to recap again resting potential what we had positive outside so this was due to many sodium ions outside okay and uh, the membrane is uh, less permeable to sodium ions when the pressure is applied the membrane becomes more permeable to sodium ions and the influx of those will take place so here just to uh, recap on everything what we were saying so the pressure applied uh, to the corpuscle it will change the uh, shape of the membrane and the neuron membrane uh, membrane will become stretched so this deformation will cause increased permeability of the nerve to uh, so the net membrane to sodium ions so this stretching will widen the sodium ion channels okay and the sodium ions will diffuse into the neuron membrane so the influx okay will in, uh, cause this positive charge inside of the uh, neuron membrane and will cause depolarization so the action potential can be produced so this action potential or the words the nerve impulse will now pass along the neuron okay so will pass along the neuron okay uh, through all the neurons okay through the synapses to the central nervous system so this is the action potential okay this is where the uh, mechanical pressure was applied so let's have a look at the questions now describe how a passenger corpuscle produces a generator potential action potential when simulated only three marks here so increased pressure will deform the stretch mediated uh, membrane so the uh, stretch mediated sodium ion channels will now open okay open sodium channels uh, ion uh, will open and sodium will diffuse in okay sodium ions will diffuse in that will lead to depolarization 
które 